Okay. And you can use lines, and if you choose line, you can choose line. You can have a line. And then you can even distort that line. Um, control T. You know, change it up a little bit. If you um, come over here to edit, transform, and warp, you can actually move all of these to create curved lines. Click enter. If you duplicate it by either dragging and dropping or control J, and then or you know, for you it would be Control J, for me Command J, and then Command T or Control T depending on your computer. You can even rotate it. Maybe bring it to the side here. Okay. So you have these two lines now. Maybe you make them together. So by merging them, which is Command or Control E. And then you might want to cover this up. And so we're just doing this new. So maybe a line. And So I'm just going to connect the two lines here. I'm going to zoom in. You want to make sure that these lines end up closing. So I'm actually going to Command Alt or Option Z a couple times because I want to move this shape over. And I need to be. I need to press V to be on the move. Move it up. I'm just using my arrows to where I want to get it. Now I'm going to select them both and again Command or Control E. Now come back. I'm actually going to use the pen tool. I'm going to show you this. Um, this pen tool is like free drawing kind of. So you start it where you want it, click, hold, Actually, I take that back. Just click and then click to the other side that you want. Now hold and you can actually drag as you're dragging your mouse. You can turn the curve however you would like. I want it like that. And click enter. So I'm actually going to fill the rest of the space. So I'm going to go to the paint bucket and black. Okay, go ahead and rasterize the shape. It's basically just saying you can no longer change it. I'm going to fill it with black. So now I have one big shape. I can then take this, go over here to the magic one tool, okay, and click inside here. All right, so now I have a selection. To be able to move this, I'm actually cutting the shape out and moving the whole pixels underneath, and I don't want to do that, okay? What I want to do is just have the moving ants. That way I can bring it to another image. Before I do that, I actually need another image, so I'm going to go to Lightroom real quick. Actually, all the photos that I've used in this are from my wedding or my honeymoon. It's kind of my theme. So you should have a theme as well. All right. So now I come back to my other document with my marching ants here in this shape. You need to be in the marquee tool, the one right under the move tool. Okay. And with this, now you should going to move them up into where it has my uh, the tab with my other photo in it and then just kind of hold until it brings me over and then drop it down and there you go now 
obviously this is so much larger than this picture because it's actually a web uh, sized image we need to transform this selection but if we just do the normal transform of control T it will transform the pixels inside the selection which means the picture inside and that's not what we want we just want to be able to move and rotate the marching ants so we have to go to select and then transform selection I know it's complex I don't know why they do it that way but they do so now I'm gonna pull down so I can get these corners now from here I'm going to press shift to keep the um, the ratio and everything without distorting the image and then come in from the corner and then pull it back up you need to keep doing this and this is how I do it with photos too when they get too big for wherever I'm bringing them alright so there we go I'd actually like uh, the majority of this I think to be the um, grasses here it's called pompous grass so I'm going to come up above the corner until I get that rounded arrow and just turn it yep so I don't have any of that logo in there I have the pink of the sky the blue of the sky and some of this pompous grass I'm going to press enter and then I'm going to copy so for you control C for Mac command C I'm going to come back over here um, and I'm actually going to deselect so command or control D and I'm just going to hide that one image or that shape so I'm going to paste my picture so command or control V 